I'm first cutting out the woman. So I'm going on the selection persona and clicking on the smart selection brush. And I'm creating a selection around the woman. And then on the layers panel, I'm clicking the plus sign at the top and then I'm going to click on mask layer, which is going to remove the background and then I'm going to click deselect. And I'm saving it as a PNG, which will just save it without the background. And then I'm moving over to this picture of a snowy forest and I've added an exposure adjustment and I'm bringing the exposure down. And then I'm adding a fill layer and I'm changing the colour to a dark blue. And then I've changed the blend mode to soft light and I brought down the opacity. On On The Filter Studio I'm moving over to Blurs and I'm ticking the box that says add live filters which just means I can go back and edit it later if I need to. And I've clicked on Lens Blur. I've then added a mask layer and I'm bringing it onto the lens blur. And then I'm using the paintbrush tool and I'm changing the brush to a normal brush but I'm lowering the harshness down to zero and the flow down to about halfway. And with the colour on black I'm going to paint away some of the lens blur. But I'm just going to paint it away from the ground for now. But if you change the colour to white, it will bring the filter back. I've then imported the picture of the woman that I cut out before. And on the move tool, I'm just resizing her. And I've then added an exposure adjustment and I'm dragging that down on top of the woman so it's only going to affect her and I'm bringing the exposure down. I've then added a HSL adjustment and I'm bringing the saturation down. And then on the colour balance adjustment, I've moved over to highlights. And I'm just increasing the yellows and reds. And then moving over to the shadows, I'm increasing the blue tones a little bit. So I've then added a pixel layer and I'm changing the colour to orange. And I want to be able to paint on the woman, so I'm going to click on the picture of the woman and then I'm going to click rasterize. And then I'm going to drag that pixel layer on top. And I'm going to be putting a ball in her hands, which is where the light's going to be coming from. So I'm just painting over where I think the light would hit.
and I'm changing that to Colour Dodge and I'm bringing down the opacity. And then I'm doing the same again but with a lighter colour. And again, I'm changing that to Colour Dodge and bring it down the opacity. And now I'm going to start adding some shadows. So I'm just clicking on a dark blue. And I'm picking where I think the shadows would be. And I'm changing that to colour burn. And I'm just going to keep repeating the same thing but I'm changing between the highlights and the shadows. And I brought in this picture of a glass ball and using a smart selection brush I'm going to cut it out. And on the pen tool with the mode on smart, 
going to trace around her hand. And then I clicked to selection at the bottom. And then I'm going to duplicate that selection. And then click and deselect. And using the pen tool again, I'm going to cut out the bottom two fingers of her other hand. And then I'm dragging that ball so it sits beneath the hands. And then on the move tool I'm just resizing it. And then on the adjustment studio, I'm adding a recolor adjustment. I'm dragging that onto the ball, and then I'm moving the hue slider until the colour changes to orange. And then bring it down the saturation to about halfway. And then bring in the lightness up to about 6%. And then I've added a pixel layer and I'm colour selecting the orange. And then I'm increasing the brush size and I'm just going to tap over the ball. And I'm dragging that layer to the top. And I'm changing the blend mode to screen. And then I'm just making that layer a bit bigger. And then I'm doing the same again but with a smaller brush and I'm changing it to add. And so then I'm clicking on this brush, which I've downloaded from DeviantArt, and using the same orange, I'm just going to tap once over the ball, and I'm changing that to add, and I'm bringing down the opacity a little bit. And 
and I'm basically just going between these different brushes until I get the effect that I want. And I'm either changing them to add or screen. And then I've gone back on a normal brush and I've brought the hardness down to zero. And I just want to add some more light onto the woman. And I'm changing that to colour dodge. And I'm bringing the opacity down. And then I'm just going in and adding some more shadows. And I'm painting over the bits that are already dark to give it some more contrast. And I'm painting on her hair just under the hood to give some more shadow.
now I want to start adding some shadow underneath the woman. So I've added a new pixel layer and I've dragged that layer underneath so it doesn't affect her. And I'm just painting around the bottom of a dress. And then I'm keeping that on normal but I'm bringing down the opacity. And then I'm doing the same thing but I'm dragging the shadow out. And I've changed that to overlay and I've brought down the opacity. And then I've done the same again but kept it more towards the woman, just to give the shadow a bit more of a fade. And then I've added a curves adjustment. And I'm bringing down the whites and bringing up the shadows. And then I'm just moving through the colour channels. So I want the highlights to be quite warm and the shadows to be quite cool toned. And I've then added a colour balance adjustment and I'm doing the same thing. And then I just want to bring up the exposure a little bit. And now I'm just painting with black around the edges of the picture so that the focus is more on the woman. And I'm keeping it on normal but bringing the opacity down. And now I'm just doing the opposite and I'm painting with a lighter colour and keeping it in the centre of the picture. But I'm changing that to screen. And again I'm just bringing the opacity down. I've then just brought in this picture of some snow. And I'm changing that to screen. And then on the source box at the bottom right, I'm dragging down the top left corner and this will just decrease some of the whites in the snow picture and then I'm bringing down the opacity. And I'm then adding a mask layer to that snow and I'm changing the colour to black and I'm just going to paint away some of the snow in the centre. And then if I change the colour to white, it'll bring some of that snow back.
I've then added a depth of field blur and making sure the woman is in the centre circle. and I'm dragging that depth of field blur to sit below the snow, just so it doesn't blur any of it. And then I'm clicking back on the snow and I'm bringing up the opacity. And then I'm bringing up the exposure. 